Yeah, like every week we want to present you some of um, our interesting um, stocks from the trading week. First of all, we have some ETFs here. Uh, the first ETF is the TLT. Um, it's the iShares ETF on the 20 years um, treasury bonds. And um, you can see on the right hand side the weekly chart. We have like eight weeks now a downtrend here. And um, they're quite significant um, put options um, where people are betting for um, continuing this uh, continue this um, downtrend. And also, if we go back to our daily um, chart, we can see the last weeks that really went um, up a lot from 150 um, to yeah almost 130, and the bets are going exactly to this price 130 should be the next target um, for mid of april and as we started today the first time with some interesting put option volume i also want to continue with some other um, um, stocks or etfs uh, which are also in a downtrend there's another etf with the symbol icln it's um, clean energy ETF um, also from iShares and here people are betting that this uh, will move below the um, yeah let's say below the $22 um, and I think from the charting it's also quite interesting because the last um, um, low price here from beginning of March was um, below the $22 and now we will see in the next um, week I hope so how it will move when it will reach the $22 again. If uh, we will have the typical um, trend uh, trend reversal at the $22 uh, price, or if the price, what I think most people expect now, will really move uh, below the $22, and then maybe um, uh, we will already see next week $21 or $20 then in April, because these are exactly the bets which we can see here in our option volume and I think here you can also see we have 26,000 put um, options comparing to only 5,000 call options and from the chart itself it's uh, I think also pretty obvious that um, there is a downtrend at the moment since um, we had the highest price in the beginning of the year um, at $34 now we are here at 23 and it looks like um, this ETF uh, will continue on his um, way down. On the other hand side, um, we have um, one industry this week or the last weeks we can say it's all financial sectors here with the ETF X, uh, XLF, where we can see since November a big uptrend and uh, the same you will um, you will um, witness when you can um, check JP Morgan or City Group, all these banks are at the end included in this ETF. Um, that's why you have to decide if you want to um, be part or invest in the financial um, sector, if you want to choose um, the ETF, or maybe um, select several um, stocks like JP Morgan or City Group. The difference is always um, that we have here um, gaps and earnings, mainly. Um, gaps uh, will happen through earnings um, when if the ETF you are the volatility is not so high uh, like in the stock itself so um, that's something um, what might be a benefit um, especially if you have a buy and hold strategy because if um, one bank will fail um, of course it will have an impact on the whole industry but uh, with the ETF um, it's always always not so volatile like um, in the stock itself but other than um, the financial sector and all these banks uh, we also have some um, stocks what i think we also presented you in the last weeks um, already like ford and general motors especially general motors on a new yearly high here um, moved above 60 dollars so there's not much um, um, much new stocks what we can present this week maybe a few um, other symbols what we also discussed in the next last weeks I think here is Express Incorporation it reminds me um, to what we saw in AMC or also in GameStop it's coming um, step by step maybe in the old level what we had here 
at the end of January, beginning of February. And um, even if it doesn't look like, but you just have to see it started here um, 8 of March with $2.50. And now it's more than double of this price we reached today, six dollar with really a big um, a big volume. What we can see here in um, on the call side with almost eighty thousand. But what we also realized in the last days that also all the option volume, um, yeah, it's mainly with a short period of time, sometimes only for a few days um, expiration day or maybe one week. So this is also a sign that there's um, um, yeah, a big uncertainty um, in the market. People might um, rate, especially for tomorrow, for this big expiration day um, of uh, future contracts, as well as um, all the March monthly options. And uh, nobody really invents, invests on a um, long period of time. There's only yeah, several um, small stocks where we can see still some volume coming in, um, but not like we had it in the last weeks with all these um, um, crazy movements um, from AMC and GameStop. So everything gets a little bit um, um, down from the volume, from the volatility. So it might be interesting um, if there may might be also um, um, changing a trend in the next few weeks, um, especially when we have a um, outlook in April where the next earnings season starts um, so far um, can be um, yeah, quite interesting time when especially the banks starts in the beginning um, to report their earnings for the first quarter of uh, 2021. Um, another stock from this week is Boeing. Um, it started to break out already last week here in Yeah, Thursday we saw the movement above above two hundred forty dollar, and um, from the option volume um, as well as um, from the movement itself, it's um, looking at the moment pretty interesting. Um, here you also should have a look on the bigger picture what we can see on a weekly basis, because then you will understand that Boeing is still not on this level or um, above the level what it had before the corona crisis started. So I think on this side, there might be still a chance that um, there will be a movement above $300 um, or higher levels. Um, and in this case, it's really interesting to put this um, stock on, on your watch list um, here to have a, a more detailed look in the next few days, um, what happens to, to Boeing. Um, but other than um, these stocks, uh, there was not much more what I can present you this week. I hope uh, the next week will be quite um, more interesting like what we had this week. So please feel free to subscribe to our channel to not miss any of our upcoming videos. I would be happy to uh, welcome you again. Have a great day and uh, see you next time. Thank you very much.